this video, we're going to have a very quick look at fill and gradient colors in our shapes. These are the things that can make our drawings and our illustrations look really professional or really bad. Now, I've started off with just a very simple rectangle, which is on my screen. And of course, it has that fill that we've used before, which is orange. It's very easy to change a fill just by clicking on the fill button, going to any color and changing the color. We can, of course, click on this little palette over here and choose almost an infinite number of colors that we wanted to, or we could use the sliders to create our colors as well. So you're not limited to what color you really want to choose. You have practically every color that the human eye can see here. So in this way, we have full control of what the color of our object is. Now, if we want a bit more control over the color of our shapes, we're better off using the gradient tool that we find on the left hand side, if we go down and it's this rectangle with a gradient in it. Now, if we just click and drag, nothing happens. But if we click on the shape, it immediately takes a gradient of white to black. Now, let's see what's actually going on here. Because if we now go to the fill, you can see that we have a white and a black. What we want to do is edit what is happening inside our gradient. We can do that simply by moving the gradient tool around. That tells us where our gradient is. We can also move the colors around in the gradient so that it controls how big or how small that gradient is. Now, if we wanted to edit the gradient, because of course not everything in the world is black and white, we would go back to the fill, click on it, go to the palette or the swatches, and then down at the right, there is something called the gradient options. And now what you'll see here is our gradient options lets us choose which colors are inside our gradient. So for example, we have white here. So what I'm going to do is click on that and make it red, for example. Go to the other side, click on the black and make it yellow. So you can see immediately that's a much more interesting gradient. Now what if we wanted to add more colors? Well, it's really simple. We just go underneath this bar and click and new colors are added. Now in this case, it doesn't look like any new colors are added because Illustrator adds them, but they're the same colors as the old gradient. So all we have to do is double click each color and add our own color inside. So of course, I'm going to make this really ugly, but you can kind of see where I'm going with this. And so we can make our gradient whatever we want to. Again, we can control where those gradients start and finish. We can also control how much of each color goes into the next. So for example, if I was to do this, I would create almost a sharp line in between two colors. So you have a huge amount of control as to what your gradient looks like and where the colors are. And you can also very easily switch the direction of the gradient round in whatever direction you want to do. You can also do that manually just by clicking on your gradient and rotating like so. So you have full control over what colors are in your gradient and which direction it's going in.